As any parent of an adolescent can tell you, teenagers would rather listen to their friends than their parents on just about any subject that you can think of. There is a program at Puyallup High School that uses that approach to teach young people about the social issues facing them today. It's called Drama Outreach, and each year these students, student actors, take their show on the road to talk about things like sex, drugs, and peer pressure with kids from 8 to 18. Let's take a look. Are you seeing Ben again? No. I heard you're seeing Ben I'm again. I'm not. You talked to him on the phone? No. What do you talk about? We don't talk. You're trying to break us apart? No, you know I hey, love you. Hey, I think you. you're trying to break us apart. I'm not. Hey, don't lie to me. I'm man. not. I can tell you're lying. I'm not. Don't lie to me. So we have a, a basic format for any unit, and it starts out with a hook. And what that is may be a skit, it may be a monologue, where we are going in and we are just trying to get the kids into the problem. We're trying to get their attention and pull their attention to us and to listen to us. Every 12 seconds, another female is physically abused. One out of eight girls is physically abused during our high school years. Hi, we're from the Puyallup High School Drama Outreach Program, and we're here to talk to you about physical abuse. My name is Adrian Urquhart, and I'm a senior. My name is Tiffany Jardine, and I'm a senior. I'm the second Hart. thing, then, is to build I'm belief. Right, right. What that is is our statistics or brainstorming or a discussion where we're trying to make sure that the kids understand this is a real problem at your age, in your school, right now, today. What we're going to do now is we're going to break you up into groups of two, one male and one female. Then it's into action, which is the interactive participation, the projects where we pull them up out of the audience and they're part of what we're doing. Okay, now we're going to get into our third freeze frame picture. This picture is going to be right after he actually slaps her. Sam, what are you feeling right now as you're about to hit your girlfriend? I feel really angry that she would cheat on me. The basis of sure, every project right that now? we do is to talk to them about how they have choices they need to look at the consequences of the choices that they make and make the best decision, the best healthy decision for them. The thing about an abusive relationship is you need to get out of it and quickly. So who would you go to talk to to get help? Danny? Family member. The research shows that by students empowered and they come up with the solutions, then they will buy into those solutions and live it out in their lives. You need to move pretty quickly when you get out of third period to get over to Thomas's class, teen pregnancy. And you are there, and you are in five of her classes. You're going to do it five times in a row. I like the drama outreach program in the school because it's an opportunity for kids to discuss in an appropriate forum matters that really concern them, matters that they want to know about and want to talk about, but don't know where to go to find out information or perhaps are uncomfortable going somewhere. Okay, I thought we were going to do the thing where we came in and we hadn't had any drinks yet. No, we only no, had like... You guys, oh, have, you guys yeah. have drinks yeah. and we just have to like... Okay, yeah, and then we're going to be more forceful. Right. All right, and you, you guys want to do that or want me to do that? Half so drunk, we're not gonna so. Students will reach a fellow student faster in a language that's more easily understood than an adult will reach a student. Take a stand. Break the cycle. Stop the abuse. Drama Outreach is a wonderful program using interactive drama techniques and uh, decision-making skills. We can really explore the burning issues that face our youth today. The arts give us insight into our mistakes and they give us choices to face the future. The arts are the language of our fears and struggles and our hopes. Thanks so much for recognizing a program that reaches students through the arts. Thank you.